Okay, hold on, hold on, map. There are two gramophones, right? There's one here and there's one here. Okay, so I need to place them both. Hmm, I'm sure I heard something. So now I've come all the way over here for nothing. <laughs> I swear, if I wasn't already murdering someone today... Think about doing it anyway. Okay. So either way, I need to come over here quickly grab this record before he can get that one. Okay, come on, move. Move on. <laughs> You're done. The hell of it. Let's put the tequila slammer one in here. And then on this other side... Put this one. Not that. That's not record. This one. Should be it. I shall fill in as your pianist today. I'm quite competent, I assure you. Ha ha ha, marvelous. Kind of wondering, yeah, there's the only two gramophones. I have both of them playing, so if this doesn't work, I'm not sure quite what else to do. Okay, let's get focus on both of them. I mean, it's not like I can move the objects, right? The only thing we can do is take objects and then put them and use them. So, I mean, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what if, like, if there needs to be a... Yeah, no, it's still going. He talks about noise, but is there a gramophone in here that I don't know about? Ugh. I don't get it. That's the only clue I have. He talks about noise. Unless there's like... Okay, she's doing that. Unless this is for, like, the, the storage closet in there. He's still in there. Oh yeah, he's coming back. Oh my god, he's doing his monologue. <laughs> okay. 
So, I mean, the noise wasn't that distracting. Job done. Where are you going? Okay, well, he's going through that door. So I can go through here. What is this for then? Storage closet key. Okay. Uh, to my knowledge, there isn't anything else locked. There's that urn over there. Hidden passage. Hungry charm, second meal. Hungry charm, first meal. I mean, I'm just trying to think, does it matter? Is it that I need to put this record over here? So quickly grab this, put this over here, and then have that distract him? Do I need the other record? Because the one thing I'm very lost on is if the storage closet actually means anything. If it matters if I have two records playing or if it's just one particular record that really matters. Okay, let's try it. Oh, sorry. Three. This one. F1. Restart the day. Grab that record. Put it. Maybe it's like getting the noise to distract him and he can't find where it's coming from. Because it's clearly not distracting him while he's preparing. Or it's distracting him while he's preparing but not so much playing the music. Uh, wonderful. Soon Mystic Hula will arrive and I shall play her song. It will be quite the unexpected spectacle. Tricky part coming up. Ah, okay. But then... And break for plot. Never mind. What? I, what now? Okay, here's music. The hell is that noise? Oh, wait, he's going... Huh. Okay. So, do I need to be downstairs, grab the record, and just... Oh my god, you... Why are you here? <laughs> So 
seems no matter what. It goes in whichever direction it went. Okay, so maybe I do need to start at the bottom then. So, so like, basically, no matter what, he can't stop the music from playing. Okay, so let's restart the day from here. Grab the record. And then put it in that other room. Because as long as there's a record playing to continue distracting him. Wait, they don't care. There's no other music playing, so this should be it. <laughs> Please let this be it. Up, 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 up. Come on. Okay, I pressed the uh, mic. I right clicked a bit too soon again to move. Come on. Oh my god. here. Oh, that's just... Okay, so he, he's gone off over there. I mean, all I can think right now is that I need to... Can't do anything else here. I don't know. Um, like, I can't light the candle. I can't light the candle. Otherwise, it's just gonna be the same thing. I got a feeling this is just gonna go the same way. He talks about noise, but uh, like, what am I missing? I know, I know, I, maybe I do have to light the candle. But the question is, what is there? What object is there? Because I do not have anything as of yet to actually light this candle. That's a completely separate area, so I don't have to worry about that.
Like I'm wondering, do I need to take... Was there... What's this? Is there anything? No, that's just the... Is that the room I'm starting in? What is this? Wait, what is this area? CCTV code. That's the way upstairs. Oh, okay. This is a place we haven't even been in yet. It's locked. Okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to assume this all comes down to the music storage key and whatever else I can maybe find from that. Do any of these go like, do any of, does this closet key go for anything downstairs? Now, see, that doesn't interact with anything. Whoa! Please don't be monologuing. Yeah, you're going through the door. <laughs> you're going through the door. Okay, so I still- Yeah, so this isn't even something I can even interact with. There was someone there. Okay. Key of old habits. And then there's a dice. So obviously this is for this clock right here. Oh, this is going to drive me insane. Dear, of course that'll help. Okay. Can I interact with the candle? Can I grab the candle? Candle's curiously cold. I can't use that particular item. So is an item. This is not where the key goes. Oh my god. I'm I'm so lost. I don't understand what this is for. You know what? I do need the ghosts. I think what I need to do is get those ghosts to make a whole lot of noise. So like the record's playing, this is playing, but like this, the noise won't be able to stop because I'm, the ghosts are helping the... Humanity, why her perfect voice silenced that monster? Okay. So... Oh! I wasn't expecting you to come through here. Makes sense. The candle's curiously cold. Where is there a closet? 
Because I imagine this might be a thing where I just, it's an item that I get to keep with me. Maybe. CCTV. There's another, there's a lockbox here. I feel like I actually... I need a clue to look this one up or something. So that's an accessible. An accessible. Um, so of all the places in here... See, this is the hard part. I, I don't know of any storage... Music storage closet. Because if that, if that was the case, then it would, I would think it's here, right? But there's nothing in there for me to put the key to. At least that I can tell of. Yeah, this, this little chest here isn't interactable. That's just for her to dump the body, so that doesn't matter. And otherwise, there's only the gramophone in here. Oh, I get it now. I have to... Okay, I think I need to... Sw I need to switch the records and then lock the door. So I don't even need to be downstairs. Grab the record. Switch it to a different room, and then lock the door. Or maybe lock him inside. Oh! So while he's in there, we lock him inside. That would even be better, because then he uh, can't do anything, can he? See, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, it makes no sense for me to have to go downstairs, even though technically it's possible. Because I was always wondering, how come I can interact with this? I always thought it was like, it was like, oh, you can interact with something in here, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense, but I still can't think of the reason why this is the case. So let it be. We'll be writing soon. I should play her song. Yeah, you can't play her song. Cause he was because like bold like noise and stuff was highlighted, I kept focusing on that, like making as much noise as possible. But if I lock him in there, that won't be an issue, will it? Okay. Come on. Yeah, I know. You hear it. Yeah, you hear it. Do you hear that? You should go investigate. Go see what's up. Okay, oh my god. It's such a simple solution too, but I, I made it way more complicated than it actually was. <laughs> I'm bloody locked in. Lafcadio, I wasn't expecting you. I have to practice for the big fi finale, but Red isn't here to play for me. Would you mind? You play so beautifully. I had a dream. I wrote a horrible song, Lafquiado. 
It was a jealous, mean piece. I didn't mean it. I, I've always loved Lucas, but I wish the two of them every happiness. Oh, this song. He had me write this for her so long ago. It's perfect. From the top then. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk over just uh, me being worried a bit about copyright. I have like the music down to one, <laughs> so because you just never know. Even though it's even if it's like music made specifically for the game, I think mostly it's like the arcing game. So I've had trouble where it's like the music itself can be licensed out or for the copyright holders. And, well, I mean, it is their copyright. It's just a bit of a hassle to deal with. There we go. That was beautiful, Lafquiado. She will love hearing it. Are you, are you crying? Wait, what's your first name? No, your first name is Boone, so this isn't... Are you crying? I can't tell, or do you have a headache? You seem to have a lot of headaches. Tequila down the hatch. All right. I'm assuming the next person we're saving are the two lovebirds she was referring to. Lucas and whoever the other lady is. Take her mask, then come to the window. Oh, I don't control this. <laughs> Is she going to have a special power? Tequila's shattering voice. The singer Tequila Bell has one of the most powerful and beautiful voices ever heard. Tequila's mask allows you to shatter delicate glass with her voice. Smash mosaic glass objects by using the power when the prompt appears. Okay. Oh my god, what is that squishing? This window has a secret, Boone. Tila's voice, shall we say it resonates in this mansion? Use the power she gave you. I mean, he's seen it at work. <laughs> this room used to be the orchestra pit for the room below the theater. Can you imagine what this place would have been in the heights of its glory? The shows, the music, the life. Tequila loved to stand here, up high. But the Marquis decided it was too dangerous. Her personal enjoyment was sacrificed for the greater good. Sometimes we had to hurt people to help them move on. The path will become clear, Boone. I'm sorry. Are you pushing me down? <laughs> She was morose about it. I don't know if I should be worried. I think that's the guy we saw just briefly walking through the door. She believed she was keeping you safe. Yes, very clear. Okay, that was the next one. But I think she has rather overplayed her hand. I will find her, then be back for you. In the meantime, do enjoy the show. And this is a showtime at 7? A stylus sense of dread. Cast Iron Machine seems like anything... <laughs> it's like, I would read these, but then at the same time... Oh, 
we know right away who we need to save. Uh, Grayson Grayson and Red Rockridge. Okay. Maybe not the two lovebirds, unless they are. <laughs> it's a possibility, I'd say. Okay, we don't have anything... We won't be able to access that, so that's not accessible either. Again, all these things with the padlocks on it. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh ha! Othena, so predictable. I can just imagine him now, so pleased with himself. Hiding a safe behind the picture, what an idea. No young whippersnapper would think ever of it. Ha, uh, cough, I mean, that's not what he's like. Well, maybe a little. Bingo. I make this look easy. But no one else on Earth could crack that lock. Now let's see what we have. No, that's not a thing. God damn it, this is not an egg. I'm looking for a Fabergé egg. <laughs> Please don't be coming up behind me. I am busy spying. Oh, he is coming this way. Ah, there you are. Egg ho Grayson. I have a visual on the egg. Okay, these guys right die right at the end of the day. Oh, sweet mother of pearls. Sweet mother of pearls, I take it this is the egg? This is huge! No wonder it wasn't in the save. This is the egg to end all eggs. Look at it. Boy, Lucas, I knew he had it. That crazy rich rat. Oh, Lucas! Wait. Grayson, wait. Something's not right. The show tonight, wasn't it going to be some kind of awful death-defying escape? Red, in all seriousness. This is... All the time I could be spending getting closer to look at the egg. No man, look at those spikes and those, where are those electrical pylons? Look, we can't just make sure it's nothing plugged and turned on before you get in the awful death cage, please. Fine. You check that way, I'll take these rooms. Let's go make sure this is all off or disconnected or whatever. What do I do without you to look out for me, Red? Haha, <laughs> you know it. Although, I just want to see... Yeah, okay. Can't really hurt just to take a look. I mean, it might not even be the true Moloch egg. And... and oh, sweet lord, it is. Look at it. God, that fat braggart around his ass. Okay, I, it's just... There's, there's too many, too many things. <laughs> hey, my hands. Why did you touch it? What is this? Ouch. Hey, who's there? Red? Red? Grayson, why? Why is the electricity on? I... Someone locked me in here. What? Who? I don't know. I didn't see. I can't get the cage open. My hand... It, hair is standing on the end just being near the door. Red, my hands are trapped. Really trapped. What do you mean? Are you hurt? No, it's just like metal bands that snapped over my hands. Can you get your picks? No, I can't get to my... I can't get to my picks. If I can't get in there, I can snap, I can snap those bands, I'm sure, and break the egg. Are you crazy? This is, <laughs> it's fine, I'll be fine. Just go find that bastard who locked me in. Break his knees. This is ridiculous. 
What the hell is that? I mean, might as well just watch the entire show play out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sexy Brutal Showcase of Illusions. Wait, show? No, 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 don't start the show. I don't like this. I'm now officially not ha now officially not having fun. Red. Red. Wait, what's happening? Oh no. Whatever crazy show they have planned is starting. I think I saw those spikes move. Okay, we can get you out. We will. I'll get you out. Okay. Don't tell me you do something. Don't tell me, just do something. It's a magic show, right? The magician would have an exit. Red, I don't know. I didn't design this insane shit. <laughs> I just want out now. Yes, Gray, look, there's a trap door. It looks like there's a padlock, but you can pick that easy, right? I could pick it in my sleep. My hands are stuck. Oh boy, that thing is... Our world magician is ready to perform his final... His finale. The spikes of death descended. What? The spikes of what? Red, get me out of here. I'm Get me out of here, please. There is a switch backstage. Maybe that will shut it down. I'll be right back, Gray. I won't let anything happen to you. I have to shut this down. I can't do anything with electricity. Red, red. Okay, so there's a switch backstage. Oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, we're missing a lot of information because we've just seen this one particular room. It's not happening. Come on, come on. Who's doing this? What kind of sick... What is happening here? Oh, Jesus. My hands. I need my hands. Help me, help me. Oh, God. Red, please. Something's happening with Red. Please. Get me out. Get me out of here. Still screaming for Red. Okay, he's coming to his end soon. Grayson, I'm sorry. I'll get you out, I promise. Oh. No. Okay. Oh, and it closes the curtains. Oh no. <laughs> it's too gruesome, the game knows. <laughs> oh wow, you just slam right down, huh? Okay. Oh, so brutal, but don't despair. Look. He's exactly as he should be. Oh, wow. What is this? Take the time to uh, explore while I'm here. Okay, there's this. Oh, I know this one I press X. Okay. Because either way, we're trapped in this one area. 